A couple years ago, I made a chocolate stout layer cake and I am going to be making that again for you today. And rather than filling each layer with chocolate buttercream, I'm going to be filling it with caramel. So I'm gonna shift over to the stove and get started. Every cake has a liquid element that combines with the dry ingredients. And what makes this cake so fantastic is that we're mixing a really beautifully caramelized chocolate stout with unsweetened cocoa and butter. And that's going to be that liquid base for this cake. And what's awesome, honestly, is that you can really taste the stout in the finished cake. A lot of times when you include beer or something like that in a recipe, it'll add bitterness from hops, but by using stout, it adds that wonderful kind of roasty quality. It's tasty stuff. So just over some medium heat, I am going to melt four sticks of butter, and then I'm going to stir in two cups of that stout. There are so many fun stouts that breweries are making these days. This one happens to be a chocolate oatmeal stout. Okay, so I'm gonna let the butter completely melt down and then I'm stirring in that cocoa. Whisk all this wonderful stuff together until it's nice and smooth. And then you have to set it aside and let it cool almost all the way down before you add it to the rest of your ingredients. Okay, so I'm now going to make the batter for the cake. I'm gonna pop them in the oven. I'm also gonna make that caramel because as the cakes are baking, I need to make the caramel so that it can then cool down. There's not a lot of complicated steps involved in making the cake, but there's a lot of time because things have to cool before you can move on to the next step. I have four cups of all-purpose flour. I also have four cups of sugar, lots of sugar, baking powder, and just a little bit of salt. You always need some salt to balance out the sweet. I'm just gonna whisk this up so it's all combined. Now, one of the other fabulous parts of this recipe is that it includes sour cream, and having sour cream or yogurt or some other kind of tangy dairy element in a recipe like this just really adds a ton of depth to the flavor. So in goes the sour cream. You want everything to be thoroughly combined and then we're just going to add that to our flour mixture. And then I'm going to gradually add in this wonderful chocolate stout combo. All right, next up, we're going to prepare the pans. It's very easy. Just gonna coat these pans with butter and shake in a little bit of flour. All that does is keep the cake from sticking to the pan. I've evenly distributed the batter in my pans. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into a 350 degree oven. I have it on convection baking because these might take 40 to 50 minutes on a regular oven setting. So with convection, it'll take about half that time. While the cakes are baking, I'm going to make this caramel sauce. It's a relatively simple caramel to make. It's just a cup of sugar. I have a quarter cup of water and just a pinch of cream of tartar. So I'm bringing this to a boil over medium high heat and I'm going to be stirring this continuously. You will want to use either a wooden spoon or a heat proof spatula for this. So keep your eyes on it. Pretty soon the sugar will dissolve and once it comes to the boil, then you're gonna stop stirring and you're going to allow the caramel to develop that beautiful golden hue. Now, while that's doing what it's doing, I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to heat up two thirds of a cup of heavy cream. I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of butter and then just a teaspoon of salt. 
I'm gonna get this nice and warm, get the butter all melted down. And once the caramel reaches that beautiful golden amber hue that we're looking for, I'm gonna stir the cream mixture in. Everything's combined and I'm turning off the heat. This has to cool completely before we use it in the cake. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of shaving off the top of these layers so that it's flat. It's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna look gorgeous, but it doesn't matter. It's gonna be all covered up with icing. I'm gonna go ahead and make the buttercream, super simple, and then we're going to ice this. All you need is about two thirds of a cup of unsalted butter, three cups of powdered sugar, and first thing you wanna do is cream your butter. Now I'm going to stir my unsweetened cocoa into my powdered sugar, and I'm gonna gradually introduce that into the buttercream. Buttercream is ready. My caramel also has cooled down. When you cool it down, it's going to become a lot more thick, as you can see. So this texture is what I'm looking for. When it's warm, it still is very liquidy, and you might be all nervous that it's not going to seize up, but it will, I promise. First thing, I'm just gonna put a tiny little blob of frosting down on the bottom. It will serve as my glue. Keep the cake in place. Now I'm going to arrange parchment paper around the edges and that just keeps the cake plate nice and clean while you're icing everything. Now here's how I'm going to fill this cake with caramel. I am going to take my buttercream and I'm going to pipe a ring of it around this layer and then I'm gonna spoon the caramel in. I'm gonna put another layer on and do the same thing. So that, that icing, that frosting is gonna kind of keep all of that caramel inside. And there you have it. A caramel filled chocolate stout layer cake with chocolate buttercream. That's pretty outstanding. The buttercream is sweet, but it has that wonderful hint of chocolate and all of that salty caramel soaking into the chocolate stout cake. If I had a really strong espresso or a little nip of whiskey, it would be perfect. So thank you for joining me on this best of episode. And if you're looking for the recipe, just head to feastmagazine.com. I'll see you next time.